This has all happened quite quickly. Um, we already had a pre-existing license, so there was a couple of there was a pair of beavers that needed to be rehomed, translocated, and so this morning we released a male and a female onto the Loch Lomond Reserve. We did the male first. He was quite boisterous, uh, obviously ready to be released straight in the water away. A few tail splashes, I think, probably, you know, a bit of kind of here I am. And then uh, we released the female, who was amazingly relaxed. came out and was into the, the river right next to us. So, swam up and down and up and down. And what an experience, that was amazing. It's one of the best things I have ever done. That was extraordinary. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know that the introduction of beavers, the translocation of beavers, the consultation we've done with local people, with communities of interest. Some folk have some concerns. We're doing everything we can to kind of address and manage those. But in this habitat, on a nature reserve, it is just perfect. This is exactly the sort of habitat they should be in. They should be here. And now they are, and it's just watching them slip into this bit of water and just look instantly at home and 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 to back and forward up the river. That was just what an extraordinary thing. It's all about nature restoration. It's a really, really important thing for us. You know, it's the, it's the climate crisis, it's a nature crisis. You know, our planet's in a pretty bad way. We need to do some healing. And trying to get native species back into the places where they belong naturally has to be a really critical point in all of that. We released a family of seven back in January 2023 and we've been monitoring them through the spring and summer and trying to just watch, work out where the territories were because that is important for us to know as part of the release today. We know that two of the kits were predated by otter, who are one of beaver's natural predators. Um, the other three, we haven't seen any footage of them for a while, so we're unsure of, of their fate. Um, but the two adults have continued to hang around the, the National Nature Reserve area. We've had recent footprints of them and, and, and feeding signs as well. This area can definitely support a larger number of beavers. Uh, this, the, the catchment is huge the and the available habitat is huge. There is a, a huge area in Scotland of suitable habitat for beavers, places that they can go without causing conflict. And I think it's, we, we want to try to share with other landowners that this is not something that's as scary as maybe it's been made out to be that beavers, there's, they can be in a habitat, they can, they can have, you know, they, they, they can coexist with humans in the way that we used to. And so we really want to just share that message, you know, that, that this is a really exciting thing to do. This is something that people can do on their own land and we will be offering opportunities to kind of talk to us about that as well.